On Thursday, the 11th of April 2019, the Lagos State University Lasso Alumni Association held the maiden edition of the Professor Falabi Lumide Annual Lecture Series at the Adire Mimakonjola Lecture Theatre, Ajo, Lagos. The lecture, which was hosted by the Lasso Alumni Association Lagos State Branch, was themed Rethinking Medical Education, an imperative for improving healthcare in Nigeria. The honorary celebrant, Professor Afolabi Lumide, is a Nigerian academic and medical surgeon, pioneer vice chancellor of the Lagos State University from 1983 to 1988. Professor Lumide was born on Sunday, the 18th of April, 1936, to an illustrious family with noble roots in Abelkuta and Lagos. He attended CMS Grammar School Lagos and Igbubi College, after which he proceeded to the Premier University of Ibadan, where he graduated in 1964. He had postgraduate trainings in Montreal, Canada, and Pittsburgh, USA. In 1971, he returned to Nigeria to his distinguished career in surgery and university administration. Professor Folabio Lumide is married and blessed with amazing children. In attendance at the event were the honorary celebrant, Professor Folabio Lumide and wife, the Vice Chancellor of Lagos State University, Professor Larry Waju Fagbohon, Honorable Minister of State for Health, Dr. Osage Hanere, Provost of the College of Medicine, University of Lagos, Professor Fulushoyeboa Folabi Lisi, National President, Lasso Alumni Association, Major General Cecil Esekai, were retired. Former Governor of Lagos States, Alahaja Latif Jakonde and wife, Alahaja Sikirat Jakonde. The Seriki of Egba Land, Chief Uluwato Sinfadari, FCN, represented the Alaki of Egba Land, His Royal Majesty, Oba Dido Tungbadibo, staff and students of the Lagos State University. The events commenced with the recitation of the National and Lasso Anthem, after which the opening prayer was said by Professor Christopher Osho. In the welcome remarks delivered by the National President, Lasso Alumni Association, Major General Cecil Asekai were retired. He appreciated all for making time out to grace the occasion, as he described the event as the birth of a new dawn in Lasso. Major General Isekai Bay retired described the occasion as a promise fulfilled. In honor of the celebrant, Professor Falabi Lumide, he stated that no other person would do justice to the topic of the day other than the guest lecturer, Professor Lessi, who he appreciated for accepting their request despite his very busy schedule. He ended his remarks by admonishing all to jointly work with the Vice Chancellor of the Lagos State University. Professor Larry Wajufagbohu, in order to take the university to greater heights. Mr. VC, I want to continue to encourage you to continue doing what you are doing. But let me assure you that even our Lord Jesus Christ scored only 10% in appreciation. Out of the 10 people that were here, only one person came to say thank you. We will not thank you, but your name is being written in gold. Don't be distracted. We are determined more than ever before to ensure that the crisis of the past will not rear its ugly head in this institution. When I talk of walking the talk, I'm tasking my alumni association members. Sometimes we will find it difficult to pay the levy. Sometimes they say leave it for the generals and the bankers and all this is no. Whatever you are today, apart from God Almighty, this same school made you what you are. I'm not begging again. I'm not begging again for cooperation. We are not soliciting for your support just like that. I'm now going to task your various consciences. After that, the Vice Chancellor of the Lagos State University, Professor Larry Wajufagbohu, gave his remark, during which he showered the encomiums on the man of the moment, Professor Falabi Lumide, for making sure the mission and vision he and other great men conceived and nurtured many years ago is thriving. Professor Fagbohu, who was filled with overwhelming gratitude, also appreciated all 
particularly the Lagos State Branch of the Lasso Alumni Association, for making the occasion possible. Professor Falabi Olumide had not just the courage to confront the fears that the future usually portend for every fresh initiative, for every fresh initiative, he was also enamored with the ability to act in pursuit of the vision of the founding fathers. We thank you. Today, we look at the logo and colors of our institution with a special pride. Same with the wood carving that is a historical feature of our old Senate building. That was why when you came in today, sir, I took you down memory lane stylishly. I took you back to the old Senate building where you used to preside as the generalismo. And I'm sure you saw the things that you had there. That historical thing is still standing on the wall, and we are very proud of you, sir. We thank you for laying our foundations. We have your good self and your great team to thank for making it possible for all of us to sit here today and picture ourselves as one intergenerational family. And I heartily welcome you all to our very beautiful campus. And I enjoin you to enjoy this meeting for La Biobimide Annual Alumni Lecture. I thank you. In the keynote address delivered by the chairman of the occasion, the Honorable Minister of State for Health, Dr. Sage E. Ehanire, he applauded the cordial relationship that exists between the Vice Chancellor of the University and its stakeholders, calling on other universities in Nigeria to learn from it. He said, The topic of the day, rethinking medical education, an imperative for improving health care in Nigeria, is very important because many Nigerians now travel abroad to seek quality medical health care, which in the long run affects the nation negatively. He said, most nations in the world train and develop doctors to solve and meet a particular need for them. And as a country, we must learn to develop such practices. I want to congratulate all of you, staff and students. I want to congratulate all the students of Lagos State University on your 36 years of existence. I want to commend you for three years and four months of cooperation and no controversy. I have been very impressed to see how very popular the Vice Chancellor is and what a smooth relationship exists between him and the student body and not the least with the Alumni Association. I wish this would be a model for other universities in Nigeria. I am particularly excited and looking forward to the lecture that we're going to hear from the guest today, from the guest speaker. I'm sure he will touch on many of these things I have enumerated. I wish you all best of attention and happy listening and I thank you for your attention. After that, the man of the moment, Professor Falabi Lumide, who is passionate about good music, entertained all to a special music presentation. After which the profile citation of the guest lecturer, Professor Fulusho Ebun Afolabilesi, was read by Professor Ibukule Tijani. 
The Provost, College of Medicine, University of Lagos, Professor Fulushoi Bwafolabilesi, in his remarks, expressed delight at the event, stressing that he felt honored to be the guest lecturer of the first series in honor of an outstanding Nigerian and first Vice Chancellor of the Lagos State University, Professor Falabi Olumide. He congratulated the executive members of the Alumni Association of Lasso and prayed for the sustainability of what they have begun. Professor Fulushoi Bwafalabi Lesi in his lecture noted that the topic of the day, rethinking medical education, an imperative for improving health care in Nigeria, is in response to the realization of the fact that despite the improvement of health indices in Nigeria in the past decades, the country still has a long way to go to meet up with emerging economies and a longer way to go to meet up with developed countries. Rethinking medical education and imperative for improving healthcare in Nigeria is in response to the realization that despite the improvement of health indices in Nigeria, since Professor Lubide was Vice Chancellor in 1983, Nigeria still has a long way to catch up with emerging economies, not to talk of developing countries. A lot has been said about what it takes to improve the health of Nigerians, and I'm glad the Honorable Minister has touched on quite a number of them, which I will elaborate on. And it's in all this, there's a realization that the human beings are the very center of healthcare improvement. They are the providers who provide the care, the consumers who use the care provided and must be satisfied with what they are receiving. We also have policymakers and administrators who interface between them. And I hope to show that as teachers and administrators in tertiary institutions such as this, training the required manpower to drive improvement, we need to rethink what we are doing so that we move away from doing those things doing things the same way every time and expecting a different result. He gave comparative statistics to buttress his point. He also recounted the history of medical education in Nigeria, noting that several challenges have been faced by Nigerians who train Nigerians due to lack of investment in the healthcare and education sectors. He talked about quality graduates, the issue of brain drain, among other things. He later gave cross-cutting recommendations, highlighting the various roles, government, regulatory bodies, the private sector, alumni associations, and wealthy individuals can play to improve the quality of education in the country. And it's clear that if we are to meet the WHO ratio of health worker population of 23 doctors, nurses, and midwives, the governments and, and federal and states at federal and state levels as well as other stakeholders in education must continue to respond to the ever-widening manpower gap that exists in the country. The next slide just wants to highlight the determinants of health. and I'm not, There are quite a number of determinants of health. What I want to just focus on is health services or health systems. Let's talk about the health workforce. The health workforce can be defined as all people engage in actions whose primary intent is to enhance health. These human resources include clinical staff, such as doctors, nurses, pharmacists, etc., as well as management and support staff, those who don't deliver services directly, but are essential to the performance of health systems, such as managers, administrators, ambulance drivers, accountants, etc. This means everyone operating in and around health facilities in the three tiers of health care, namely primary, secondary, and tertiary. It is self-evident that the more they understand their complementary roles and work efficiently and harmoniously as a team, the better delivery of health care and better the outcome of the health of the population they serve. As the event progressed, heart-warming encomiums rolled in as guests praised Professor Folabio Limide's doggedness, pioneering spirit and commitment to excellence. Later on, distinguished guests were presented with plaques of honor for their outstanding commitment and contribution towards the development of education in Nigeria. A surprise birthday cake from the Lasso Alumni Association was presented to Professor Folabio Limide 
to commemorate his 83rd birthday anniversary celebration, which comes up on the 18th of April, 2019. The vote of thanks was later delivered by Mrs. Oinkosola Badejo Kunsoya, the daughter of the honorary celebrant, Professor Falabi Olimide. The event came to an end amid a series of photo and video sessions. From Biscon Communications, it's 83 hearty cheers to Professor Falabi Olimide, a pace setter of our time.